tragedy that continues to unfold why a breeder whose six dogs died in a hot car may also be in trouble. Today, police are still trying to track down this woman. They say abandoned an SUV in the parking lot of Reams Nursery on Lomas near San Mateo Wednesday. Six dogs were found dead hours later after suffocating in that car. The dogs belong to breeder Annette Rosenau. She had hired the woman and her boyfriend through Craigslist to help move her 30 dogs to Texas. Tonight, five other dogs the couple dropped off at Petroglyph Animal Hospital are now in protective custody. But the breeder who owns those dogs is in trouble too. She's been cited for not properly keeping up with all of her dogs. News 13's Rebecca Atkins is live in the Newsplex with the story. Rebecca. Well, Jessica, for the first time, we're getting a look at the property in Estancia where this breeder lived and where she says the people now wanted by police helped move those dogs. She lived in a secluded area. Annette Rose now bred dogs on this sprawling property in Estancia with acres upon acres for her 30 dogs to run free. She sells everything from labradoodles to Afghans and even bearded collies. There are dozens of pictures and videos of them on her Facebook page. I feel so bad for these babies. Nobody deserves to die like this. But on Wednesday, a woman she hired named Sarah to transport six of her dogs to Texas abandoned them in this vehicle outside a nursery and all six dogs suffocated to death. Luckily, five of her other dogs that were with a man named Sean were dropped off at the Petroglyph Animal Hospital yesterday. Today, animal control picked them up and took them to the Westside shelter. Police are looking for this woman, but Rosenau's record isn't squeaky clean. In January, the breeder was cited by Torrance County on 30 counts for failing to provide rabies vaccinations for her dogs and another 30 counts for failing to license them. They're all very young, you know, so I haven't even bred them yet. In an interview yesterday, Rose now didn't talk too much about those citations or why she was abruptly leaving New Mexico. But when she first moved to the area, she put up this GoFundMe asking for food for her dogs. She claimed she was running out of food for them and that puppy sales were slow. Rose now is scheduled to appear in court for those citations at a hearing on April 18th. And no word if she plans on going since she is now living in Texas. Jessica, back to you. All right, thank you, Rebecca. Police are still looking for the woman in the surveillance video. They ask if you recognize her to contact police.